Once you've placed your elevation marker in your Revit structure project, you can modify it. Now, up until now, I've shown you that you can click on the elevation marker like so. And when you click on the bubble there, you'll see obviously you get your little tick boxes and you can have views in different directions off of the elevation marker, the north, south, east, west elevations off the marker. Now, let me just zoom out and click on the name of the elevation marker like so. And you'll see it gets its own crop region plus the direction of the elevation. So you can see there's the line, the continuous line, and you can see the elevation looks obviously to the west from the east, hence it's an east elevation. But what I can do is I can drag and place where I want that elevation to go. So I don't need it to go all the way through those stairs there, I only want to be able to see the structural wall. So I can take it to about there, and then I know that I can see that structural wall there, and that structural wall there, plus the columns in front as well. Now what I can also do is change the length, I can drag this way too. I don't need to see all of this here, I only need to come up to those columns there on the outside wall. And it's the same here too, I only need to zoom in a bit and come down a bit, I only need to see to that circular hollow section there. So I can tweak that elevation and modify it at any time. If I hit escape now and zoom in and double click on the marker there, that will obviously take me to that view, so I just double click, and you'll notice I'm just clicking just slightly to the right there. Now you will get this in Revit sometimes. Don't get frustrated by it, it does happen. So what you wanna do there is just click on the name, it takes you straight to the view. So if I zoom in now, you can see that I can see all the levels. So there's my second floor, third floor, fourth floor. There's my first floor there. And I can now tweak some of these level markers as well. Cause you can see, look, the first floor is sitting right on top in there. So if I zoom in there and click on there, I can switch this one off. You might need to zoom in quite tight. There's the tick box just there and switch that off. Now you've still got the level marker highlighted, so I can just click there. That switches that level marker on there. Much, much neater, much, much tidier. And again, we've got the same issue with the ground floor marker. So I'll just hit escape a couple of times, zoom in and select the ground floor marker there. So I need to click like so, that highlights it. Switch that off there and then switch it on this side, like that, and hit escape. Now everything looks so much neater. So you can see all your grids, you can see all of your level markers there like so. Now what you might find is you might find that some of these go a little bit too long as well. So you might wanna click on that one, click on the marker there, bring it up a bit, line it in, and when it lines in with the others, you'll see the little dash line there, that's nice and neat and tidy, like so. So that's how you modify your elevations.